All right, <clears throat> 18 size Waltham model 1879 PS Bartlett with a bent staff pivot. To start, I have marked the alignment of the collet and this side of the balance and the alignment of the roller jewel on this side of the balance. I'm going to remove the hairspring and collet. Like so. And set that aside. Okay, so we're going to now remove the roller table. That hole is lined up. I'll set in the roller table removal tool. I have ensured that the impulse jewel is lined up with the slot of that removal tool and slide the punch down over staff everything appears to be lined up and we will give this a couple of gentle taps and there you go. Roller table is sitting on top of the tool. Take it away. And we will remove this from the tool and the tool from the set. All right, I have uh, lined up a hole uh, just large enough to accept the hub of the ballot staff to be removed. I'll place that in there. I am using the larger of the two uh, removal tools. And I will line that up with a stake down through there. I can look through this viewing window here to Make sure the tool lines up appropriately onto the staff, and it is. One last little tighten there, and your tool is preventing the flexing of your balance wheel arms. My magnet is in place below me. A couple of taps and staff is out and caught onto the magnet. I'll now loosen my tool. Remove the punch and the tool. I can visually identify that these two staffs uh, are indeed the same. Um, and it looks like during some of my removal process, just broke the tip of that top one off. And you can see the bent one on the bottom of the old one. This is the old one, and that is the new one.
Okay, I have selected a hole and aligned just large enough to allow the hub of the new staff to sit on top of that hole. And the rest of the staff to go into the hole. We will set the balance wheel on top. And we will use a flat punch. You seat the balance wheel. Okay, I have selected uh, punches fifteen A and fifteen B. I uh, did not know that they were numbered, but they are. 15A is the flat, 15B is the round, and that is the size that just fits over the um, shaft of the staff to make the rivet. We'll start with 15B, which is the round one. We will move to 15A, which is the flat punch, to flatten the rivet. Okay, so the rivet is complete, and if you thought that those staffs pivot points were small, what is even smaller than that is the rivet, which is virtually impossible to see even under uh, double loop magnification, but the rivet is flat on the hub and uh, with a pair of tweezers gently spinning uh, you cannot move the staff within the balance arm at all so it is tight and locked down and riveted in place okay uh, we have finished staking the uh, new staff to the balance wheel and what we have done here is test fit the uh, new staff and balance wheel to the pillar plate and uh, balance bridge. The um, hole jewels were both removed, uh, foot jewel and uh, uh, cock jewel, and cleaned, reassembled uh, before fitment. But we have the balance bridge on, uh, the balance bridge screw is in and tight, the balance bridge is tight. 
and we check for uh, free movement. We have very free movement. It will sit here and spin uh, for quite a while before it stops. There's no premature stopping at all. And we also note that it moves uh, and runs very true. And we can test this in different directions as well. And as we see, we still have it running. No stoppage at all. So now for reassembly of the uh, rotor table and the hairspring. So we're going to reinstall the roller table to the uh, balance staff. The balance staff is placed into an appropriate size uh, roller stump uh, into the table. It's been aligned. Uh, the roller table jewel I have realigned with the uh, pre-existing mark that I made before disassembly uh, so that it is oriented into the right direction. We are using a um, stake that is made with a slot to account for the roller table jewel. And there it appears to be completely seated. All right, so the collet is uh, a little too large for the uh, New Balance staff. It's not far off, but just loose on the staff. It will need to be tightened. Uh, so prior to placing onto the Balance staff, uh, we're going to close the collet. Um, there's a little notch there. We're using a concaved punch. Um, a concave punch that is selected to just fit onto the collet uh, and not touch the hairspring when you go to close it uh, with a tap. It is sitting on a flat surface stump. So we'll see if that fixed it. Okay, we've tightened the uh, collet down with a collet conical punch on the flat stump. We're going to use the um, stump for the roller table to accept the roller table jewel. And this is all pre aligned. We're going to set balance assembly with the roller table jewel into the notch of that stump. I have already aligned the collet notch to the mark that I made on the balance wheel in line with the collet uh, prior to disassembly. And I'll just use the flat 15A uh, punch. Now to seat that hairspring collet onto the staff 
and it is now tight and not moving. And that is now a complete assembly of the staff, riveted staff to the balance wheel, replacement of the roller table, tightening of the collet, and replacing of the collet and hairspring to the balance wheel assembly. And that is ready to be placed in the watch. Okay, uh, this <clears throat> is a complete restaff uh, reattached to the balance cock. This entire movement has been broken down, disassembled, cleaned, and lubricated and reassembled. And this will be the very first time uh, that we are going to try to place the balance into place. Uh, I did give the watch a few winds. I do have a pretty swift movement back and forth on that pallet, so let's see what happens. Here we go. And I don't know if it will continue to run, but it's running just for the moment all right after a test uh, brief test run I have wound the watch all the way uh, I did check it in all positions uh, six positions uh, there was didn't seem to be any issues through those six positions I'm now looking for amplitude and uh, with a full wind on the watch I'm um, hoping for somewhere near 360 degrees, so let's go slow motion and see what happens. And you can see we've got nearly 360 degrees of amplitude. Eighteen size Waltham, model 1879, grade PS Bartlett, produced 1882 to 1883.